Hello, I'm Demon Gun, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use unofficial plugins with Tailspire. Let's get to it. Before I show you how to get plugins, there are a few simple rules to follow to not ruin things for everyone. As of this video, all plugins are unofficial. If you have any issues with a plugin, do not contact Bouncy Rock and do not ask for help in the Tailspire Discord. Plugin work is happening in parallel with features and fixes Bouncy Rock is doing, and it would be nice to keep it that way. We do not want them distracted from that work. As an example, if you have an issue with your Skyrim mod, you do not contact Bethesda. If you have an issue with your Fallout New Vegas mod, you do not contact Bethesda, I guess. If you have an issue with your Cyberpunk mods, you do not contact CD Projekt Red. All right, let's go get some plugins. First, you're going to navigate to thunderstore.io and click the Tailspire community. This presents you the web-based version of the plugin list. If you ever want to browse it while not running the mod manager itself, then you're going to download R2 Modman. This mod manager used to be specifically for Risk of Rain 2 before it was extended to other games. Yes, I agree. The name is kind of weird. Your manual download. In order to install it for any user, you'll want to run it as an administrator. Install it somewhere on your machine. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. Then you run it. If you want to run Tailspire with your mods installed, remember you're going to have to run it from the mod manager. The R2 mod manager should already detect that you have Tailspire installed. So go ahead and select it. And with R2 Modman, it allows you to have various profiles set up. In my case, I have different plugins running depending on if I'm GMing, building, or if I'm a player. Once you have your profile that you'd like, select it, then choose your plugins. Keep in mind, many of the plugins are early, early alpha, so may not be as user-friendly as expected. Some require creating manual folders, configuration files, please read the instructions for each plugin very carefully. The documentation is present usually on the mod page as well as the GitHub page. So far I have offered two bounties in the mod community and both were completed by Holofox. There's the image to plane plugin here and there's the hide volume groups plugin which I think was released uh, just recently. So I'm going to download it get it with dependencies and we'll go ahead and start it. The first plugin I commissioned was the image to plane plugin. This was a plugin designed to help me build modules from pre-existing materials. So in this case, I can push F1, I select a local image, and then uh, these aren't the same walls, but you see what, you see what I mean. It's, it's not perfect, but it definitely gives me something to work with. Uh, and I can adjust the size of the image such that it matches with the Tailspire grid. The second plugin was the ability to group hide volumes. So here, I'm gonna go ahead and create a group out of this hide volume. I'm gonna add it to that group here and then add it to group here. Uh, and then I can hide the whole group all at once. And there you go. You've got Tailspire running with plugins. Should you have any issues with a plugin, follow the link to the plugin GitHub page and post an issue. To get there, you go to your plugin, you expand it down here and you're gonna click this. This little button right there means the repository control. Uh, version control, and that's going to open the Thunderstore page for that plugin, which should have some information on it. From that page, you can click the GitHub link here. And this is where you would go if you had any issues with this plugin. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if this helped you get Tailspire plugins running. I'm really excited about the future of modding in Tailspire. Take care.